Hello, this is Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And today our question comes to us from Saison. And Saison writes to tell us about a friend who is having a problem with a spirit manifestation in her home. And Saison's friend and other members of her family have seen these spirits who manifest as shadows. But she does not know if they're good or bad. But the fact that they manifest as shadows has caused her concern. And Zaisan's question is, if these spirits are potential pests, what can be done about them? And should we try to drive them away, or should we wait and see what they do? And my answer to this is that you either have a problem or you don't. And nothing that you've described to me actually tells me there's an actual problem that you should be worried about. Unless something is being harmed or frightened to the point of being an actual problem, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Now, if your friend is that frightened that's interfering in her life, or if things are happening that are harmful, it's an entirely different matter. But unless that's the case, I wouldn't worry too much about it. If that is the case, if either through things happening or through her own fear, your friend is actually being impacted in a negative way by this manifestation, the first thing to do is to talk to these spirits and tell them that they're frightening you and you'd like them to go away. Ask them to go away. If that doesn't work, command them to go away. And that would be the first thing to try. Now, if for some reason that doesn't work, spirits manifest through energy. So ground the energy in the house, do a house blessing and basic warding and shielding. I think you'd find that would really be enough. However, the other very important thing to say is that people who experience spirit manifestations are often themselves clairvoyant and frequently opening clairvoyance, just first coming into their abilities. And it can be hard for them to control. One of the things that makes this important is that frequently they themselves are hanging on to the experience, which makes it very hard to cut it off. So if doing basic grounding and warding is not enough to stop the experience, you may need to work with your friend to cut her cords to the experience because she may, or some other member of her family may, be holding on to it as something which is important to them, even though they might also be afraid of it. So these are different things that you can try, and what I would say is to give them a try if in fact your friend feels that there is enough of a problem that something needs to be done, and if you have further problems, contact me again and I will tell you more things you can do. But I think you'll find this really would be enough. So I hope that helps and gives you something to think about, and until next time, may you blessed be. The Tarot of Hecate. My 100 card tarot deck, 30 years in the making, finally available to you from witchschoolstore.com. Check out a copy today.